Hey guys, wanted to uh, bring to you today the first of uh, several videos in a series of making a rocket heater. The body of my rocket heater is going to be this, this uh, uh, well troll tank. And uh, the way I'm going to do this is it's, it's, got, a, uh, it's got a base on it which will keep it up off the floor. Uh, plus I have uh, another wooden base that this will sit on to keep it up off the floor make it easy to get to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this tank in half right here and uh, I have to extract the, um, the, the, uh, the, the bladder that's inside this. There's, a, there's a, a rubber tank, rubber bladder inside of this and, uh, and uh, that is going to be attached here. The top portion of this was designed for air and then the bottom portion had water in it. So I could get that bladder out of there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it along this line so that this indention here will slip inside the um, slip inside there um, and the top will be removable. And bear with me. Not that I'm going to use these, but just as an example. What I'll do is I'll have a, uh, I'll probably make these out of uh, small pieces of angle iron, like one inch angle iron. But what I'll have for, uh, for spotters is a, a pin in the lower section, and then I'll have this in the top section so that the uh, indicators will line themselves up when I, when I go to put it back together. Um, and that'll help hold it sturdy as well. But that way, if there's any condensation that happens inside of this tank, which uh, more than likely there will be, especially when you first fire it up or, or it cools down, um, anytime you have a drastic change in temperature and uh, at low temperatures like that, you do run the risk of having um, uh, some, some condensation buildup. Also, uh, something that I'm going to uh, address is uh, any type of uh, creosote that may build up. And you always want to run your and build your system so that if there is any condensation or creosote buildup, that it runs down the inside of the tank and you have, um, you have your, your pieces put together like so. So if this is the inside and it's running down, it would run right down and cascade off in onto the next piece. If you built it like this and the curry salt was running down, it could actually escape through this cavity and run out the outside of the pipe on the next go. So you want to set it up this way so that uh, any of that liquid um, runs down the inside of the tank. And this is uh, also going to be a nice spot for an ash clean out at the bottom. Um, I've got my basic design. My basic design set up here. Um, I've downloaded some information off the internet and uh, I've also uh, drew up some plans myself and uh, where to get some parts. I'm going to construct this using a steel bodied outside so I can uh, make it a multi-fuel. Uh, hopefully I can do um, not only wood and biomass but I can do waste oil and pellets and things of that sort. Um, and this will be uh, easily uh, workable and reworkable out here as far as uh, airflow and things of that sort. Now on the inside, I'm not going to make it out of steel um, because that's where the heat and the fire is going to be. The, the horizontal uh, fire chamber is going to be fire brick. My riser is going to be clay liner, an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, I'm going to do the 6x6 uh, six six approximately on the um, horizontal fire chamber. Uh, my, my chimney riser will be an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, that way we get expansion, rise, and, uh, and then I'll have um, like a 10 inch round on the outside of that. I'll know more once I get in inside of this thing and start putting it together. Um, but basically this is uh, the body of this will be um, uh, there. I'll have like a cut out here so that the uh, the tube can come in, you know, it'll be serviceable, very serviceable. Um, got to remember that, you know, this isn't going to last forever. You got to rebuild it or 
or something. You got to get in there, clean it out. So this will be a serviceable unit. But anyway, this is the first of many uh, videos on this series, and uh, uh, stay tuned and, and, and keep an eye on what's going on. Um, today is uh, 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 August 28th. I hope to have it up and running, fully functional, by October 1st. It gives me 30 days to get this thing put together. Um, I'm, I'm sure I can do it a lot faster, but I got to get in here and, and start uh, kind of build design as you go, sort of thing. Um, I'll also share dimensions of the of the entire tank as we go. So the first first my first feat here is to uh, cut this line and uh, get one to fit inside the other and get that bladder out of there and uh, and prep it for the next stage. Stay stay tuned and, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.